This Shabbat's Torah portion, Parashat Naso, codifies the practice of Birkat Kohanim, the threefold blessing conferred by the priests and by the Kohanim upon the Israelites. In the temple, this was performed as part of each day's service. Today, it is reenacted in the land of Israel during the daily morning service, whereas here in the diaspora, it is performed only on festivals. The performance of this blessing involves the Kohanim, the priests, assembling on the raised platform in front of the synagogue, facing the ark, and then turning with raised hands to face the people as they pronounce the liturgy. According to one explanation, they do this to symbolically demonstrate that their hands are clean, that they are upright, righteous beyond reproach, and that they are therefore worthy conduits of God's blessing to the people. Interestingly, the Talmud states that the congregation should not gaze upon the hands of the Kohanim as the blessing is recited. This creates an interesting dynamic. The Kohanim, for their part, must work to ensure that their hands are clean before conferring the blessing, thereby demonstrating respect for God, whose name they are invoking, respect for their position, and respect for the people they are addressing. At the same time, the people are instructed not to look too closely at those hands, not to examine them with such scrutiny, thereby demonstrating their own respect for the priesthood and for the integrity of the individual Kohanim. This only incentivizes the Kohanim to live up to the faith shown to them. And in this way, the mutual respect is self-reinforcing and ennobling for everyone. It makes everyone better. One only has to glance at the headlines to see what happens when this dynamic breaks down. It breaks down when leaders hide their hands, not taking the care to avoid even the appearance of impropriety. And the people respond by assuming the worst of their leaders, which only incentivizes those leaders not to be transparent. Again, we don't have to look far to see how a lack of respect and faith is also self-reinforcing and how everyone winds up degraded. All people, like the Kohanim, deserve to be treated with respect and with dignity. We, therefore, should not overly examine other people's hands. We should not treat them with suspicion. We should not scrutinize in search of hidden faults. Instead, the model of the priestly blessing, in which we mutually inspire each other to live up to the faith that we demonstrate in each other, a dynamic that is in itself a blessing, a dynamic that is in itself a reflection of God's presence among us. Shabbat Shalom.